Hi, my name is Stephen McGee. I'm the author of many books on solar power systems and human health. Here is my latest book. It's called Toxic Light. And we're going to look into some forms of lighting in your house and try and understand which ones you should be using and, more importantly, which ones you shouldn't. And we have a range of typical light bulbs here that you can buy in the shops. And we're going to start with the first. Um, one of the things that we're going to subject these light bulbs to is a AM radio test. This is a standard AM radio and we're going to be using it to try and pick up on electromagnetic interference. So let's switch the radio on and have a look at the different kinds of light bulbs. So this is a pretty typical light bulb. It's been around for several decades now. It's what most people had in the house until recently. Let's switch it on and see what happens. So these produce a yellowy kind of light. And they are not full spectrum. They are not quite what the sun produces. As we can see, they don't seem to produce any electromagnetic interference on the radio. So, this group of light bulbs here is what we're being told to buy right now. These are the Energy Star fluorescent light bulbs. And we're going to start with the smallest. Uh, you know, very typical curly fluorescent lights that you see in the shops. And um, listen to the radio as you switch this one on. So what we're hearing is electromagnetic interference. And this has a field of maybe four feet. The light that these produce as well does not occur in nature. It's very much a man-made light source. So here's our medium light bulb. Let's see what this one does. Okay, so we got maybe a six foot radio field. The fluorescents typically uh, produce a cool white light, and I particularly find a, a kind of ugly light, and I'm sure your body would find it an ugly light too by picking up on it. So this is the largest, let's see what this does. So this has the largest field, which is probably more than 10 to 15 feet. 15 feet, I would say. So you probably would not want to have one of these in your house, otherwise you may find yourself picking up on the radio field. And this one looks like our first light bulb that we tested, but it's actually a fluorescent in disguise. We can see it through the bulb. So let's see what this one does. So we have a field coming out of that light bulb of approximately four feet. So this is what you should be using, and this is the first light that we're going to look at, it's a Philips Eco Vantage, and we can see it's a light bulb within a light bulb. 
So what's going on here is we have a halogen lamp and it has a glass envelope around it and the glass envelope filters out the UV light. These produce an extremely white light and probably my favourite out of the conventional light bulbs right now. And there's no noise on the radio. And here's our last one. This looks like a conventional light bulb. It's actually coded and it's called a color enhanced full spectrum light bulb. And this logo is what you should look for when you're trying to buy the correct light bulbs for your house. These are engineered to give out as close a spectrum as nature produces. So we're going to turn it on and you should see a very white light. There we go, and there's no electrical noise, which is good. So the study of lighting is not new. It was studied back in the 50s by a man called John Nash Oz. He wrote many books on the subject, and this is one of them. It's called Health and Light. And he discusses the various types of lighting and how they can impact your health. Uh, you would be very surprised at what lighting can do to your health, and in particular the electromagnetic fields that they produce. Uh, it's somewhat concerning that it can actually affect childhood development and mental health. He has a DVD on the subject, it's called Exploring the Spectrum, and it's a very interesting DVD. You'd be surprised at the kind of things that John Ott talks about in the DVD. So I hope you've got a better idea of the kind of lighting you should have in your environment at home and at work. And I hope you enjoy the presentation. Thank you.